Hey, this is Orville Chomer of iPhone Obsessed. Thank you for looking at this blog. And I wanted to talk to you about provisioning um, iPhone development and the frustrations I've been experiencing. I wanted to talk to you um, about what I am sure to many of you developers out there is just a royal pain in the butt. Um, to give you, well, let's see, how can I put it? Learning Objective-C has been difficult. Learning to use the iPhone SDK itself and all the different APIs that I would want to use <clears throat> has been difficult. Uh, learning just how to put it all together has been very difficult. Spent many hours. But I think it's very telling that it seems like I've spent more time, more frustration, dealing with provisioning of my applications onto my phone. Um, as you are aware, if you are part of the developer program when you've put down your hundred bucks, um, <clears throat> is that Apple has this place on their site called the Program Portal where you go and you upload things and download things, being things like certificates and provisions. You set up your applications, you set up your devices, you, you set up your certificates, your applications, your devices, then you all like bundle it together in this provision that you install on your phone, and you also install an Xcode slash iTunes. Um, I've used up at least two, um, two trouble tickets or whatever that, that come with your um, your membership to the developer thing to hundred dollars and I'm on my second hundred dollars by the way um, I've gotten it working like two or three times and then it's not got working now the latest case being that my provision on this machine that I'm recording this on my provision that I was using successfully to do builds to my phone for my application expired. So, go so okay. So I went and I created a new provision. I used the same certificate, I used the same device, I used the same application, and quite nicely it has a um, expiration date that's way far out, farther out in the future. Something I don't have to worry downloaded it to my machine, installed it as best I could following the instructions and it doesn't work. Same everything and it doesn't work. And you know when it comes to the provisioning I'd have to say hate. Hate is too kindly a word. Um, I feel something much stronger than that when it comes to this provisioning of all the hours of frustration I have spent dealing with this issue. It seems like that some bit or whatever isn't flipped and I probably am going to have to start all over, create a new certificate, you know, download it onto the machine. Who knows what I'm going to have. Something isn't getting set the way it should be. And it makes me angry and frustrated because I want to be coding. I don't want to be dealing with all this provisioning crap. I understand the need for the provisioning. I understand the need for the certificates for security um, so Apple can have control of the environment so that if something is wrong it can be taken care of so that stuff that shouldn't be on the phone that people can't just put stuff on willy-nilly and you know you can have all sorts of problems with that. Um, it would be nice if Apple made it so that you know um, in Xcode you could do all these things and it kind of would link up to their server, link up to the um, keychain you know so all you'd have to do is put in your user ID and your password you know hook up your device in Xcode and it would 
it would grab um, the ID for your device so you don't have to find it on the device and then copy it and type it in on the, on the web page and so forth. But I think the biggest thing they could do is make it so that if your provision expires and you have to, um, you know, create a new provision um, with the same application, the same certificate and that, that it would work. It would just plain work. Um, as of this point, I cannot get my stuff to run on my phone. I know I will be able to eventually, but I know I'm going to have to go through an ordeal. Maybe I'll even have to contact Apple again, which means a stupid posting of a request, basically an email. And then waiting and crossing my fingers and hoping they guessed right instead of being able to talk to somebody. I'd be willing to, t to pay to talk to somebody. Somebody who knows what they're doing when it comes to provisioning. Anyway, I leave you with that little tirade. And um, hopefully Apple will keep doing what they're doing better and better. I gotta admit, they've done an amazing job with the iPhone in a short amount of time. So.